You might have heard about JetBrains AI Assistant, our AI plugin for Rider and other JetBrains IDEs. Just recently, we launched a pretty big update to AI Assistant, and I want to walk you through how to use it in Rider so that you can be as productive as possible. Let's take a look and start with local AI completion. Rider ships with local AI models out of the box. They are free, they are fully local and offline, and they are great at code completion. I find the more I use them, the more they feel like Rider's built-in auto completion, but with even more insights and more advanced capabilities. And like I said, you don't have to do anything to get access to these models. They are free and built in with Rider. Then there is cloud completion, which uses AI models in the cloud and can do even more. You'll have to enable it by clicking the AI Assistant panel on the right and choose Install Plugin. If you ever need to dive into AI Assistant settings, you can go to Settings, Tools, AI Assistant and configure it there. You can also disable it entirely if you want to via the plugin settings. Once the plugin is enabled and you've logged in with your JetBrains account, you'll find a bunch of features in the AI Assistant tool window. There's chat, which you can use to ask questions, and you can attach files, commits, and other information to provide extra context. You can manage custom prompts as well. Choose which AI model you want to use. You can even plug in your own local models if you want to. And there's web search available via the slash web command. And finally, there's the mode selector. This is pretty important, and we'll take a closer look at it shortly. One of the most impactful features of AI Assistant is the cloud-based code completion, which is powered by Mellum, our own in-house LLM, specifically trained for code. AI Assistant will suggest single line completions or whole blocks of code. You can write inline prompts for generation or use one of the built-in AI actions to generate documentation and even unit tests. Now let's take a closer look at the mode selector. By default, AI Assistant will be in chat mode, which means you can ask general programming questions. In chat mode, AI Assistant won't automatically add any context-related data unless the code base button is toggled on. Then there's our new edit mode, currently in beta. In this mode, you can ask AI Assistant to make changes across files in bulk. An important difference between edit mode and an AI agent like JetBrains Juni is that with edit mode, you will always have to review every change. It feels very similar to how you would refactor code. Fortunately, reviewing these changes is a breeze thanks to Rider's diff viewer. The more context we give our AI models, the more accurate their answers will be. In edit mode, we'll do our best to determine which files should be attached automatically, but you can also manually modify context too, just like in chat mode. I've already shown you how to attach files and commits, and you can even attach window panels, symbols, or database references. All of this information will help AI Assistant provide better answers. Not just that, but AI Assistant also gives you fine-grained control over the generated code reviewing, editing, or regenerating before you add it to your code base. So that's an overview of our updated AI Assistant. In my experience, the best way to learn its power is to try it with your own code. You can read all about pricing on the page linked in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.